Hello there, welcome to the Airgun Gear Show. Now, I've got two bits of good news for you. First of all, summer is coming, which means we'll be back out in the field soon. And also, Armex in Birmingham have been sending out little Umarex packages of fun. Let's go see what we've got. We've got this. It's the Walther CP99, which is CO2 powered. It's a 4.5 mil caliber, 0.177, and it's a pellet pistol. This one has been supplied to us by Armax in Birmingham, and they bring everything in from Umarex over in Germany. Armax have also been kind enough to supply us with plenty of CO2 capsules and plenty of pellets. But what about the pistol, I hear you asking? Well, the technical specs that they supply with it are, it is single and double action, basically it's semi-auto. It fires lead pellets, not BBs. It also comes with a replacement back strap, which is this part here. It is 180 mils in length, and of that, 85 millimeters is the barrel. It's got a fixed front sight and an adjustable rear sight. It's an eight shot magazine of which they supply two. It weighs 740 grams and it has a manual safety catch. Something else that I've also noted is that there is a rail just in front of the trigger guard. So you can attach a few toys to it. It feels really nice and weighty. All of this part along the top is metal. It changes to, I would say, a fairly firm type of plastic once you get below the rail. So you've got the butt and you've got the trigger guard, which does appear to be plastic. But with that extra weight on top, it's very realistic. Okay, I'm just going to guide you through a couple of basics on the pistol. You've got the top release mechanism for putting your magazine in, which is there. We'll come back to that in a moment. You've then also got the release catch for the magazine, which is where the CO2 is housed. And we'll turn it upside down because it is spring loaded, as you will see. Just there. Okay. And you can see how new this one is. It still has the packaging material inside. Then as we flip it round, you've got the safety lever just there, which is a slide on and off process. And this, is, this one is quite stiff because obviously it is absolutely brand new out of the box. Now for safety, I'm gonna demonstrate this bit to you with no CO2 in and no magazine in. This has a single shot action on the top. Once you've pulled that back, the pistol is primed and ready to go, as you'll hear. Okay, but supposing you've done that and you want to uncock the pistol, it's very simple. You press that little button here. Now listen for it. There you go. That has uncocked the single shot action. Putting your CO2 in the CP99 is a two stage system. First of all, Take the magazine out, there we go. Take your Umarex CO2 cartridge, but before you slot it in, there is a turn mechanism on the bottom and you have to undo that to open the port. And you slide that in, okay. There's a little gold screw in there, which I would suggest just turning until it pushes tight against the CO2. Okay, so once you're happy, then you simply turn this back and you actually hear it, very difficult to pick it up on camera, you actually hear it engage with the CO2. Now, a couple of us have tried this and we're unsure how much you should undo this gold screw. And it's actually, I think, down to personal preference and just a little bit of practice. But you don't get any of that annoying hiss of lost gas when you do do it up, which is nice. 
Then you bring your pistol back. And you're ready to go. Something to point out is that the front and the rear of the magazine looks remarkably similar and you have to make sure you load it correctly. This is the side that receives the pellets. This is the side that faces the barrel. So with the raised mechanism there, this is the side you need to put the pellet into. And it simply drops in and pushes in like that. With your pellets in the magazine, you just need to load the pistol. Note, the raised section of the magazine, the mechanism, slots in there. It just drops in and you pull this back and it will auto index and connect. We're on safe but we need to find something to shoot at. So I've put out a target and I'm gonna shoot at it from 10 meters. Oh, straight out of the box at 10 meters. That's very good. I might give these sights a bit of an adjustment and then try something else. So once I've adjusted the sights, which are two screws just up in here, I'm gonna have a plink at something else. I've got some balloons, some tins and some ping pong balls. Can I get eight for eight? Let's find out. There we are then, that's my review of the Walther CP99. And I hit a ping pong ball with it at 10 meters, which I think is more luck rather than my shooting skills. But I did get a good grouping on the paper target. What do I think of the pistol? Well, we've been firing it all day long at balloons, tin cans, paper targets, you name it. And everyone that's put it down has had a smile on their face. And I think that says it all.